Module 15 Relational Summary Lecture GEP1, Plant Politics. In a very real sense, but one that is rarely spoken about, the politics of the East and their etiologies are really the politics of plants. Plants whose reproduction or lack of reproduction and forms of reproduction and distribution are implicated in the root causes of climate change. And because of this, some of us believe that it is possible to change this politics of environmental destruction that has led to global warming by changing the way we interact with plants. Let me explain. I want to go further by riffing off of Michael Pollan's brilliant book, The Botany of Desire, and suggest that the politics of the East that led to the global politics of environmental destruction began with the politics of wheat and rice, two plants in the grass family, two weeds really, that led to the creation of entire empires. In the Middle East, it was wheat that inspired the pharaohs to build granaries and then armories and armies to defend them, and pyramids to secure their power to control the harvests. In the Far East, it was rice. Further east still, as we wrap around the spherical earth to the Americas, it was another grass grain, corn, but its ascendance begins much, much later. While corn was domesticated around the same time as its eastern relatives around 10,000 years ago, according to a 2016 study in the, journal, in the journal Current Biology, quote, about 5,000 years ago, indigenous people in Mexico were both hunter-gatherers and farmers. They probably got most of their calories from wild plants and hunting, but at certain points in the year used foods such as maize to supplement their diets. Today we eat sweet corn, we use maize for fuel, but thousands of years ago people were utilizing it differently, end quote, said Dr. Wales, the lead researcher of the study. Quote, rather than being totally focused on maize agriculture, people were using it as a secondary resource at certain times of the year, 